What's up guys, Jacob here. In today's video, we are going to do a Kindle publishing keyword search adventure, because why not? Let's get some profitable keywords out here today, and hopefully we can find some things that you can publish for for December. You still have time to make money in December if you act right away, like right now, after you watch this video and get some keywords, hopefully. So... Let's get started with some ideas. What's coming up this December that's going to be really big? Just general brainstorming. Christmas, okay? We're going to be focusing on books. So we'll do Christmas books. That'll sell to kids. And because we have an auto population of research results, we have um, some keywords that we know that are searched for and hopefully have products that sell well. So. Let's look at Christmas books for kids ages five through seven. And now, what we're gonna immediately see is that we have to compete with the likes of Dr. Seuss and um, a bunch of books that are like really, really competitive with a lot of reviews. So this is a no-no. This is part of the keyword research that you'll have to undergo with Kindle Publishing. Whereas when you search, you're, gonna, you're not gonna find good keywords right off the bat. You might find something that you like and maybe have a passion for, but even though these sell, like, I, I already know, this is probably going to be within the top 500. Uh, it's number 20 right now. <laughs> these books are selling so well, especially towards the Christmas season. Like, yes, they are probably the most profitable books right now, but there's just so much competition with so many reviews and so many sales. There's just no way... You can enter here and like look at this book that's paying for a sponsored ad um who knows what they're paying cost per click don't even know if this is going to be a profitable campaign for them at 996 because their cost per click could be anywhere from like a dollar to maybe even three dollars who knows <laughs> for a keyword like this but they seem to be selling well so and again it's a self-published author with a 28 page book granted still um, it's kind of like playing with fire when you've got such a low-priced paperback with what seems to be a very competitive keyword. And the more competition, generally speaking, a keyword has, the higher the cost per click is going to be to run ads for. And once we find a keyword that's good, I'll explain why we really require the importance of ads. So Christmas books didn't really work out for us. How about uh, Hanukkah? Because... Hanukkah is not as popular here in the United States, but it's still popular enough to make money. Now, one thing I'll teach you about my way of doing keyword research is that I'm kind of stupid. So, like, I will lose attention really quickly if I don't think that these are going to be a good, key, a good, this would be a good keyword to publish for. But, so what I noticed is that there's, that there's this word search book that has nothing to do with Hanukkah, but it's showing up as an ad. So, I'm going to click it. Now, uh, this word search book at 699 has only one review uh, published this year. Um, it looks like something that I could reproduce in terms of like the cover and probably the interior, the work interior. Like, I can hire someone on Upwork to do this if I really wanted to. If I really wanted to. So, it's doable for me. And let's see how it sells. It sells pretty well. It sells about mm, four or five copies a day. That's pretty steady. Good business. Now, it's priced at six ninety nine, and generally speaking, these kind of word search books, low content, activity books, and what have you, have to be priced low because um, they're for kids, and parents, generally speaking, are not going to spend a high ticket amount for activity books like these so they got to be price low now does that mean that the campaign running for this word search book is profitable i don't know because i'm not in word searches but let's look at what we have here for word search books for kids since we're going to steal that title and look at the keyword now on amazon now what we'll see here is that we do narrow it down to the ages six to eight so that we have uh, hopefully less competition and it looks like, as far as competition, it's not too bad. Uh, what I would do, 
Like, I'll just tell you, I'm not even... These days, I don't even try to rank my books organically. I just run ads, like straight up. Like, I'll still go through the whole process of optimizing my book, having the right title, having the right subtitle. Maybe I'll play a little trick with the... Uh, if the author or publisher name to like be something related to like kids activities like this guy did this girl rather who knows and uh, that's cool and all and let's just check the sales sales look really good I can already tell and if we were to look at the books that run ads I'm going to assume that they run pretty well too yeah these sell really well to get into the top 10,000 is not uh, not easy so we're looking at books that sell between like six to seven copies a day uh, right now at least. So what I would say is can we get to the top of this page running ads? The answer is yes. Can we have this book uh, done uh, to a good standard of quality compared to the existing competition? For my level of ability, and I think if we learned how to do – Outsourcing through Upwork and hiring someone decent, yes, I think so. And as far as like the reviews, like guys, I guess a lot of people tunnel on the amount of rev reviews that they need, and they go get all hyped up about fake reviews. And hey, I'm gonna be honest, like everyone uh, has at least tried doing fake reviews once, even if they no longer do it. Everyone's at least tried it. I, I know that for a fact. So, so, even like getting a review from your mom for for that shit book that you did because she wanted to support your authorship, that's a fake review, right? Technically speaking. So, um, people can say what they have about fake reviews, but in reality, you only need like two to five reviews for a book like this. And you know what? If you really wanted to do things the ethical way, you know, reprint 10 of these books for some kids or some, some parents say, hey, I'm like a publisher for kids' books. I'd really appreciate it if you could just give this book to your child. I'm just going to give it to you for free, and it'd be great if I could get a, an honest review for it on Amazon. There, that's a simple way to get your reviews done for like, you know, six reviews. So doable. And so um, that's going to be the easy part. Now, the true the part we should focus on is – Yes, we can run ads for a keyword like this. I'm choosing word search because um, people seem to be all hyped about low content with the sales potential. And yes, there is sales potential. Can you build a business, um, a Kindle publishing business, just off of low content books? Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. But it's either going to be uh, expensive if you don't hire someone super cheap to either produce a book like this or if you have the necessary software you can pro you can produce books like this um that's factor number one factor number two and this is what I focus on with most books in general is is this keyword that I have going to run campaigns that are profitable that is the equation we need to solve and sometimes you can't figure uh, – I'll just tell you straight up. You won't be able to figure it out immediately looking at keywords um, because there's just no – like unlike Google ad, uh, ads, they don't – like Google ads will tell you how much you can expect to pay for cost per click. With advertising by Amazon, unfortunately right now we don't have that ability to where we can openly look up keywords and see how much we would potentially be bidding for. Because uh, advertising by Amazon is just super basic. Like, so basic, it's it's basic. But um, what I would say here to you guys, and I'll be open about it, is there's a balancing act with this. You are going to have to figure out, once you run an ad campaign, how to get your cost per click down, and also how to uh, meaningfully get sales and still make a profit. And uh, one of the ways I do that is by by increasing my list price. And I think that these publishers are aware of that too. If we were to look at the average price of a word search book, it's gonna range from like five bucks, six bucks, maybe seven dollars. Notice that these publishers are priced at $8.99, $9, and this one's at $8. 
Reason being, you need to have royalties that are coming in. Your average royalty needs to cover <laughs> the cost per click campaign that you're running. So, hey, let's say it takes five clicks at 50 cents to get a sale. Okay, simple math, guys. Five clicks times 50 cents equals $2.50 to get a sale. So to be profitable, um, your royalty would need to be at least $2.50, right, to break even. And, you know, for meaningful sales, you know, you'd want to make at least three, if not even $4 per book to make it at least worth your time to run an ad campaign for something like that, right? So... I mean, this is like if you want to make a twenty, a steady twenty dollars a day. You see, if you're starting out, you can do something like this and just try to figure out how to get the cost per click down and run a little a bit higher of a price and still get search result one. By the way, um, it's really a balancing act. And hey, it might not be doable with this keyword. It might be, uh, but look at other keywords as well. So we're not gonna like totally hone in on that. I just wanted to give a whole rant about what I look at for profitability. Um, I know this book is killer, so let's look at it. So this is the Legendary Unicorn Activity book. Um, I guess I should not be looking at this in the public eye, but this here is going to be impossible for 99% of you to um, make a profit off of. And that will contradict what you think when you see this. Its bestseller rank is 57, okay? Now, why do I say it's not going to be profitable for you? Okay, notice how this is a book with two effing reviews that is ranked as a self-published author number 57. All right, how in the world is that possible? Now, there's only two ways. Either... This publisher is running some kind of off-page sales funnel for activity books. Maybe they've got a big program or campaign running um, where like, they're this big-time publisher for activity books. And they've got a cool landing page um, that, that, does well, that gets a lot of traffic for activity books. Maybe they've got some social media platform like YouTube that's like super big and that's endorsing this book. Or, more likely, they're running ads. And... Whether they're running on ads on AMS, advertising by Amazon, Amazon Marketing Services, Amazon, or they could be running ads on Facebook and possibly getting better results with how little or they have to, how less, how much less they have to spend cost per click for their ad campaign. Okay, with a book price at six ninety seven, that's going to be, I assume, black and white. Okay, given that, it's what. Like 30 pages, 73 pages. Um, at a list price of six ninety seven, this book probably makes two dollars and fifty cents per royalty. And for a book that's selling this well, your ad campaign needs to be super, super tight and super lean to where you're absolutely not wasting money on an excessive average cost per click. For your ad campaign so that's where it takes a lot well i know as simple as ams is it still takes a lot of skill to execute at this level where yes this is obviously a super profitable book it's a super profitable keyword um straight up i'll just tell you that this is a keyword that can make you a lot of money but how you go about making money from this keyword is going to be unattainable for those of you who are still beginner or even intermediate. And it would still take a lot of work um, by me to make this profitable. But I'll just tell you straight up what I would do. I would run a manual ad targeting campaign. I would try to look up 50 keywords that I think are going to be, uh, be selling the best for this unicorn activity book. And it could be related to like literally unicorns or unicorn activity books, unicorn drawing books, uh, unicorn dot to dot, blah, blah, blah. And I would filter what seems to be bringing in the most traffic 
and also cutting out or omitting keywords that have an excessive cost per click. Because again, it's kind of a tightrope act when you've got a book that is, again, it's so obviously self-published. It's only got two reviews and it's literally, it's probably the best self-published book right now for activity books in Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. I, I'm probably wrong about that, but it's okay. It still sells really fucking well. That's all you have to know. So you have to figure, how can you, with a royalty of around $2.50, run an ad campaign that, for this kind of tr this kind of sales, you have to be blasting ads. Um, because now I have experience with running ads at a high level, this publisher could be spending easily, if it's just on Amazon, easily upwards of $1,000 per day, okay? And I know that sounds whack shit crazy to a lot of you, but when you've got a ranking like this at 57, we could be seeing a scenario where this publisher is spending $1,000 to make, to make 5,000, maybe four to $5,000 a day gross from one book. And that sounds crazy to you, Again, I've been through some shit lately. I know it's very possible to make that much money from one book, but it, it, you got to spend money to make money. And to do so, it has to be done intelligently with a efficient ad campaign. So, um, hey, I've given you guys a profitable keyword. Now, I've been transparent that you will either lose money or you will either have to learn how to really run ads effectively to make money with a keyword like this. So... I'll stop here, guys. I really can't go into how to go through the process of creating a book like this, although I will say straight up, don't PM me about it. I'll just tell you, go to Upwork, or at least study a book like this, see the work that's, that's involved, and decide if you still want to do it. Because I can guarantee you, with a book that seems to be, from what I can see, as high quality as this, it probably costs this publisher $600, $700 to make. And, you know, in the big picture of things, that's like a drop in the bucket, okay, compared to its sales potential. But again, this author, I know, this publisher, is blasting ads like crazy to make this kind of uh, bestsellers ranking. I don't even know if they run just Amazon or they also do Facebook. I know for a fact they do Amazon. But again, this author, this publisher is spending like crazy to get these kinds of results. So... Is it possible for you to do it? Yes, it is. But you're going to have to take some time to learn this craft, learn Kindle publishing. And if you really want to learn Kindle publishing, this is the part where I have to sell you. Nah, I'm just joking. You can either um, buy one, buy Revolavi, I'd say. It'll better learn like the ins and outs of running an ad campaign, how to like set up a book that's in a profitable keyword, profitable niche, and make money from it. I teach you that. Or you can just work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So you can always reach me through Facebook if that's something you want to do, and we'll talk. So guys, this video is running at 18 minutes. I think I've dropped some good knowledge bombs and an excellent keyword for you guys to feast on. So until then, I'll see you all later.